that time later in the week. Sound good? So live stream, post-race party, onward and upward. Somebody's working hard. Oh man, Beaver Town. Wild turkeys in Denver. That's pretty cool. I've never seen wild turkeys in Denver. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the wild, wild west out here. Well, here's the turn uh, turnaround point for today five miles out we'll flip it here I do think I will preview the last six miles later in the week because I'm learning so much out here uh, just where the dips are and where the bridges are I'm on a bridge right now uh, it's so I feel real good about it but uh it's a little chilly out too so <clears throat> let's go back and we're back dealing with some that's right serious corona hair today but we're gonna get through this together everyone all right ultra Tim twos putting them on the shelf over there. We'll get back to those in a second. But first of all, I don't know about you, I'm dreaming about hot summer days, cold beer, and some baseball. All right, on your screen, this is where the Colorado Rockies play. And I'm just like, I don't know if we're going to be able to go watch them this year or not, but I'm dreaming of it. Oh, especially after a cold, frigid 10-mile run today. Oh, I think it was in the teens uh, on the run. So well, quite different than two days ago when it was 70 degrees, but the Ultra Temp 2s did great 10 miles, 750 a mile approximately, and it was muddy out, so the Temp 2s were perfect. On the side of the uh, concrete there is where I was running mostly, and that is the course. I'll come back to the course here in a second, uh, but first of all, uh, we did it. This is it. Marathon training, week 14, the full-on taper, home stretch to the races this weekend. Um, and I just want to say congrats if you have, you know, maybe your race, well, I shouldn't say maybe, uh, your race was likely canceled this spring, whatever distance you were training for. And if you are going to be doing the DGR, the Demore Global Running virtual races, like we did it. We, we persevered through a lot of adverse adversity probably i'm gonna say the if you're a new runner this and you're you've never gone through an entire training block this is very strange okay to arrive at the end of a training block and not have a race to go participate in meaning an in-person race all right so this is abnormal this is not going to be the normal moving forward i have faith that we're going to get through this uh in the fall and be able to get back to racing in person that is my hope at least but we made it through these 14 weeks, and yes, here is a clip from the first run back on the soccer fields, the first run of the training block over three months ago. Absolutely insane that it was over three months ago, uh, but sure enough, after runner's knee, we made it through together to this point, and last week, okay, week uh, 13 of the training block, 
Volume was a little higher than I expected because of the 50 mile run. I wasn't sure how long I'd be able to run, but made it to 50. So usually I would be closer to that 60 range, but I ended up being, I think around 75 miles for the volume for last week. And now this week, uh, before the actual race this weekend on the uh, Platte River Trail, trail, I will be doing 30 to 35 miles, okay? That's what, before the race, all right? But then after the race, it'll bump me up to, you know, 50 to 55 miles for the volume for the week. And because of the 50 mile run, again, didn't know how long I was gonna go. I was planning to do my last workout last week. Uh, my legs were definitely not up for a workout after that uh, effort. So therefore, I'm going to do a baby, really baby workout tomorrow. Okay, so come back for that. Um, I don't know where yet because I don't know if any tracks are open, uh, but I was planning to do some uh, 600 meter repeats on the track. We shall see what I end up doing for that. At the end of the day, this week, final week of the marathon training is stretching, foam rolling, getting the legs as happy as possible, especially after the 50 miles, um, and arriving at the starting line, the virtual starting line with all of you as fit as possible, as fresh as possible, and as healthy as possible, okay? It's a, I think we're gonna do it. I think, you know, it's like, this is it. Uh, six days to go. Okay, let's get you some updates on the DGR virtual races. Here we go. Broke my heart. I did not even really think this through. This is my first time putting on any sort of race, uh, let alone, I, I've never even participated in a virtual race. So we're all in this together uh, as, as first time, at least for me, as a first time participant. Uh, but I got an email, I think it was from a medical worker in Pittsburgh. Sorry, I, I don't remember your name, but the person emailed me and said, Seth, I'm a little sad because I work Sunday, April 19th. Uh, and like they, I think they are a nurse, and so they work. They do like a, I don't know if it's a 12 or 18 hour shift, but basically they won't be able to do the DGR virtual race on Sunday. Therefore, they asked, could we do it on Saturday? And I had it hadn't even crossed my mind, but yes. All right, so we opened up the window, okay, to April 18th, Saturday, April 18th, and Sunday, April 19th. It just broke my heart. There's no way. Like, of course you can do it on Saturday, April 18th, okay? So I just wanna put that out there, but you do need to still email the results to demorevirtualresults at gmail.com. Demorevirtualresults at gmail.com by Sunday night, okay? So there you go. Uh, that's how you're going to get your name into the final results, depending on the distance that you ran. Um, and again, all the uh, information is listed on this website. Uh, it's also going to be linked down below as far as the directions on what you need to email uh, to that, uh, the information you need to send to that email, okay? But also, here's, here's a crazy thing. I'm going to try to send out an email to everyone that's registered. I'll get you the numbers here in a second for how many people have registered. You might be a little surprised um, because somebody decided to take it upon themselves to put in some work to make bib numbers all right so look at these bib numbers um this is a, just amazing some creative work out there and i so here's i'm going to try to email this document it's a pdf out to everyone and if you want to print some print this bib number off here's the deal though i don't know i will print it off uh if i can find a a place to print it that's open uh but i don't know if i'll actually wear it because of the paper i think it would just get sweaty and rip but who knows, maybe there's a, a type of paper, uh, and here's, okay. I think this is gonna be an, a, an annual event next year. We will have official bib numbers. Remember, this was a very last minute decision uh, based on the coronavirus and can't, all the races being canceled. So printing bib numbers, uh, doing medals, we're just not doing that this year, uh, but we will in the future, okay? At the very least, we have t-shirts, okay? Those are available down below. Actually, I'll just give a shout out. Lots of colors available, pink, blue, gray, black, white, hoodies, stickers, all sorts of things available down below. If you want a t-shirt from the inaugural event, I'm definitely going to save this t-shirt for the rest of my life. Uh, I love, I, I don't know about you, I love collecting old racing t-shirts and just like putting them in a, a box and then pulling them out like, you know, years and years later. I love doing that. So um, the t-shirts are down below and the bib numbers, I will try to email out to everyone uh, this, I will, e I will do my best to email out to everyone 
probably like Wednesday or Thursday, and then you can print it, maybe Friday, I don't know, and then you can print and pin it on your shirt if you want, or I don't know, again, uh, depending on the paper you're, you use, how it will stick. Okay, here are the numbers on um, Butter My Bread. 1,332 as of today registered runners for the inaugural race. And let me get you the numbers for the actual marathon half, 10K and 5K. So here we go, 123 runners for the marathon. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'll be uh, racing. Half marathon, whoa, 463. 463, that's the largest um, amount for any of the distances, 10K, 406 and 5k 340 so again i think these numbers are going to go up and up and up and yes the registration link is down below spread it around let your running friends know um okay moving on to one more point oh my goodness i think we're gonna do it everybody i think we're gonna do it 2 p okay i'll confirm later in the week i gotta talk to true love 2 p.m sunday April 19th, 2 p.m. my time, we're gonna have a party, a post-race live stream party. I'm gonna go drink my first beer in three months uh, in the studio. I'll, we'll do a cheers here in the studio. We'll celebrate, we'll share stories of how your ra race went, your virtual race went, wherever you did it around the world. And I chose 2 p.m. because I think that gives Africa and Europe still enough time to hang out before going to bed. And then uh, Asia, is gonna be oh my gosh two uh it's gonna be okay it's gonna be really early in the morning in asia i apologize but i think that's gonna be the best situation so 2 p.m on sunday 2 p.m mountain time again i will confirm that time later in the week sound good so live stream post race party onward and upward question of the day have you registered or do you know a runner who maybe has never heard of this YouTube channel that might be interested in registering for 5K, 10K, half full? Um, I actually, there's, a, there's actually a couple people in Denver that I'm going to email today. Uh, Ryan, I'm coming for you. And also Frank, I'm coming for you as well. So I'm going to email this out to them to invite them to the DGR virtual races. All right, sound good, everyone? There you go. Onward and upward, that is the vlog for today. We're gonna toss it back to, oh man, well, you know, we'll toss it back to last week's 50 mile live stream in case you wanna go back and reminisce from the live stream from last week. Again, thanks for all the support for that. Onward and upward, all right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.